Hello creators, welcome back to my channel. Masking is back on the menu, boys. <laughs> if you know what film that's from, drop me a comment down below. Okay, 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 I'll put masking in there. It should have been meat, but here's the thing. The update from Power Director has fixed the issue with the masking where you add a mask and it, it, it didn't get rid of it. Now, I did a tutorial earlier before there's a link down in the description below. Go check it out if you haven't seen that where I actually gave you a fix if you haven't updated. Now, I only update PowerDirector. I don't actually update all my programs. Most of my programs that I have on my computer, once I've got them set up for, for how I like them, for how I work, I don't update them. I, <laughs> I keep them as they are because it's infuriating doing the update all the time. And the only reason I update PowerDirector and PhotoDirector is so that I can give you what's coming and if maybe this is something that maybe you, you, you might want to look into in an update if you want to do that. So this fixed its update. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the same video that I did in the earlier, earlier tutorial and show you that it's been fixed and I'm going to show you where all the folders are that Cyberlink, that PowerDirector uses so that you can actually delete some of the stuff out without actually causing any problems. But some of the folders, you maybe just want to leave them alone. So we've got a new project open. I'm going to use the same stock media I used last, I think it was July for the problem video that we have. I'm gonna drop this down on the timer. It's about 24 seconds, if I remember correctly. Is this girl, I'm gonna to go to edit, or you can just double click here on the timeline. Now, because I've updated, uh, my masking mask is here right at the top. I'm going to click on mask. And then you can see this girl. I'm going to, let's see if I can drag this along and put her in the position where she was in the last video clip, somewhere about, I think it was somewhere like that. And go to advanced and to click on advanced here. And then we're going to click on custom and choose the brush. And now we're going to do is just auto select this mask like so. And there you go. It's selected it. Now it does cut out a little bit. If we zoom in a little bit, let's go to 300% and move these around. You can see it's not got the foot for the simple fact is the problematics with the video is that it's pretty much the same color as the background. That's why we have a little bit of a problem here, but we're using but by using a brush, you can make the brush small, of course, and bring it in and make it a little bit more tidier than that. But that's how you do it. And we're going to click on OK. And there you go. We have our mask perfectly cut out, ready for us. And we can just move around and the mask will stay where it is. And I click OK. And now we've got our mask. But this is not really what we're after. The problem was that once I'd created my mask here, if I went and said, yeah, you know what? I don't want to do that. And then go back into video mode. When we went to the background remover, let's drag this out of the way and put it somewhere here like this, and then go to background remover and remove the background it wouldn't do that because the mask was already a problem, whereas now it's not. You see, now it's taken, it's brought it in. <laughs> Don't judge the background removing. <laughs> That's a whole new kettle of fish before you actually say anything. But it works. It, now it doesn't actually bring in the, the, uh, the mask from the earlier that we just did. Now it actually goes and works a little bit better. So that's cured it out. Now, as promised, I did say I was going to show you some extra things, but the masking is working, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So we can actually shut that down a little bit, remove this, because it, it might be a bit of a problem when we try to remove stuff. So go back into my media. Let's keep, let's keep this as a blank canvas. So what we're going to do is you need to go to your file explorer. So open file explorer like so. Let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see what's happening here. And what you need to know is where it, PowerDirector or Cyberlink maintains its, its files. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to documents. Now, for you guys that are using Mac, sorry, I don't have a, um, access 
to a Mac to assist you in this. So you're going to have to kind of figure this one out for yourself. But for your Windows users, this is where it goes. We're going to go to Documents. Now you can see here, this is where I keep all my PDS files, which is all my projects. They are all here. But right above it, you'll see they've got this Cyberlink folder here. So if you click on the Cyberlink folder, you'll have all your Cyberlink files in here. But something I noticed when I looked at this a little earlier, I realized that because I'm using um, a subscription on, on all the Cyberlink, we've got Audio Director, we've got Color Director, We've got Cyberlink Drive, we've got Power Director, we've got Power DVD 23 and Screen Recorder. But something I realized is Photo Director isn't actually in here. It's missing from this and I don't right, rightly understand why that is. Maybe that's for a future tutorial. Maybe we can figure that one out. But here in Power Director, if you just click Power Director, this one, click it open, and then you can see these are the versions, earlier versions that I've been using, cache files and my intros. Now, I have created an intro once, a long time ago, uh, and it's under custom, and it comes under these three strange folders here. So if I click this, it says news, and then I remembered the, f the one I did. So if I click on the second one here, you'll see there's a, a PNG file here, a template, or JPEG, sorry. And if I click on the template and open it up, it the, this was the actual news intro that I actually created. So that is very cool. You can actually delete them out. If you go to custom, select all three and you can delete them out from there. If you so wish the catch files, you don't need to mess around with in here. There's not anything in there. So this is the latest version 23. And if you click this open, you'll see it's got anything that's got my written on it. You'll notice that you can actually do things with. So let's go to the mask. It says my mask. And here you can see the masks that we created earlier that I've messed around with. If you just you click it once with your mouse, my, mine's got auto select on it on my mouse, so that's why it goes like this. And you can see that while I've been messing around, you can see an actual outline of a PNG of the mask. And it was these that was causing problems in, in the um, earlier <laughs> July video tutorial problems. So all you can do is you just basically select those and just delete them and it has it it does no adverse effect at all on your power director because once you go back into power director here and if we get this stock media and bring this down onto the timeline go to edit go to mask the mask is still available even here even though we've deleted it out from my masking. So I'm going to delete it from here as well. So if I remove this and delete that, so that's gone from here. Go back here into my mask. There's no masks. So so it, it makes no difference if you delete anything from here. So if you've got anything else set up in here, you can just delete them out if you don't if you have if you don't need them anymore. And it has no adverse effect at all. On the program itself. So let's go back and see where else we're going with these. So this is where you find all your Power Director stuff. It's in the Documents folder. So once we come out of Documents, you'll need to go to your PC. Um, for me, it's under C. And here under Program Files, not the x86 file, but the Program Files you'll find the cyberlink and if you go in here you'll see that we've got all these and now you can see because these are the actual programs and these this area basically is a kind of yeah you don't want to mess around in here don't try to delete anything up because it will have a, a very adverse effect on your program but here you'll see masks right here at the bottom here and these are all the masks that are the defaults on what we've got here in your program. See that? And if we go to new masks, you'll see these are the new ones that have come as well. So you don't really need to you don't really need to mess around with any of these. So this is a, a definite no-go area that you have here on the program files. Now there's another area that we can access as well. 
under program. So before we go into program files, if you go down, we go to users. And in the users folder here, you'll have, you probably have three, the default, the public, and those two. Now, if you don't see the default, it's possibly because you don't have hidden files selected. So if you go to view and go all the way down to show, and then down to hidden for items. And this is where you'll see the hidden folders. So the default one, if you open it up and we go here into application data and into local, nothing to be found, roaming, nothing to be found anywhere in default. You'll have nothing in here at all. However, once we go to public, now you can see we've got a cyberlink folder and these are a little bit grayed out because these are the hidden folders but the cyberlink one is the one you can look at and here you can see now everything that you download via power director in here everything that you have will be in here everything that you have done all your downloaded menus all your lookup tables will be in here and titles look there's lots and lots now i don't actually recommend that you delete anything from here except for the one that's called all images creation now if i go to download all images mine is empty but the all images creation this is the one that you use when you do the ai stuff in power director and photo director they are all maintained right in here so if i click this open you'll see where i've been messing around with the ai stuff in here having a look at these kind of things i was doing some steampunk stuff and i wanted to see what it looked like and it up oh, there <laughs> Yeah, right. And uh, basically, you can actually, if I delete them, if I select all these like this, and then just delete them out. Gone. It has no adverse effect at all on my program. It will still be there if you've got some AI stickers. Now, I downloaded an AI sticker. It's in here. This is just the one. I'm not going to delete it because I still want to use that. And your audio. Now, if you downloaded a lot of audio you can, and you don't really want them anymore, just go here. PC Windows users. You can see it right at the top. Public Cyberlink. Download audio. Delete them all out. And they're gone. You can then just re-download re them again at a later date. So here in download background image, you can see here, I don't actually have any downloads, but if I go here, if I look in my power director here in the background images, you can see here, these are the background images. And if you download any of these files like this, and then you decide, I don't really want that, go to your, here into your, I forgot the word now, into your file explorer <laughs> i couldn't get that i couldn't think of it file explorer here under backgrounds under download background images and you can delete them out from there and basically this is all all the things that you can but i don't highly recommend that you delete any of these out just just the all images creation and the background images if you blend some and some audio stuff basically you you couldn't without any adverse effects get rid of those those three ones the rest of them uh leave them alone the fonts maybe you if you've downloaded fonts i have quite many um you could actually get rid of these if you so desire you'd still be able to download them again at a later point and that's under the public one now there's still one more way to go so if we keep going back to users here's a public now my computer is called us two so Yours will have a different name. It will have your name or it will be some other name here. And this is the computer name. So if you click on this, there's no cyberlink in here. However, if you've got the hidden view or hidden files set, you'll see application data right here. And you click this open. And inside these three files, let's go to local and have a look and see if we can find anything here. Here is cyberlink. And if you click this open, you can see now you've got also in here files. So let's have a look in Power Director in here. These are cache files. Nothing really special. But if I look in the Photo Director one, here is where everything is kept for Photo Director if you're using that, especially if you've got on the backgrounds, My Favorites and Imported and you'll have them in here. You could basically delete them if you don't 
mess around with them so much i highly recommend you don't mess around with any files in photo director it does have a very adverse effect on it working properly downloaded audio um i got some shutterstock you could delete those out as well but basically from shutterstock other than that i'd leave these pretty much alone and if we go back one more time one more time let's go and look at local low is nothing in here these are just and then roaming in roaming we still got cyberlink let's have a look in here now we've got a couple of files in here color director and power director i kind of use these quite often and these are basically cache files that i'm not going to mess around with and in power director is where you'll find brand kits now this is the new thing that's happened in power direct you've got brand kits i haven't actually done anything with brand kits but if you think if you've done something with brand kits this is where they are maintained in here under the roaming application data roaming file area and basically these are all just cache files everything else is just fine if you go to 23 there's nothing in there for you to mess around with but the brand kits are maintained in here if that's where you're looking for them and basically that is where you'll find all the areas that you can have a look at for cyberlink if you if you so wish <laughs> basically i leave them alone and if i want to get rid of something i would usually just delete it from the program itself <laughs> But that is how you look and find out where all your files are. If you found this tutorial useful, click like. If you haven't subscribed, now is a good time to do so. I upload every two weeks, so the best way to see them, of course, is via subscription. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, don't forget to turn on all notifications to be notified every time I upload new content. That's my rant for today. Have a great day. Stay safe, people.